when um, when I was in um, Florida, I used to visit my sister for a couple of months in the winter. They had these banyan trees there. And the banyan trees are just amazing. The roots just come out of the branches and cover the whole tree and uh, they were all twisted and amazing. And I took a bunch of pictures. I don't usually photograph and draw or paint, but I took them because they spoke to me. And that was years ago. Then my nephew, uh, my grandson, uh, went on a trip to Bangkok. And there's a temple there with the stone Buddhist faces. And a banyan tree has grown over them. And the face is coming through these weird branches. And uh, when I saw that, I said, I got to do it now. <laughs> so I took out, I took out the photos I had taken years ago and I just took off. I don't copy it. And I decided to make it dimensional this time because most of my previous drawings were generally the strings and the chords were flat. And uh, so that's my new series and I have about eight of them. And, um, and yet they're still mine because the, the there's tangles and intertwining, even though there's more dimension. The other thing that came before it, I recently had <laughs> some surgery, and um, I w when I was recovering, I had a, like a half dream to draw little circles and connect the dots. And I started to do a whole series. Uh, some of them have been shown at the gallery before. Sometimes I connect it with a ruled line and, you know, lots of them so that uh, that they end up being triangulation, you know, from dot to dot to dot and crisscrossing. And sometimes I connected the dots with maybe a little circles, you know, freehand. And, um, and I did that for a while. And I just, it's still, it's still my stuff. It's intricate. The people think I'm going blind or I'm going nuts when I do it. But it's just the opposite. I'm going sane. <laughs> it's just something that just comes from my uh, unconscious, through my fingers, onto the paper.